Hi everyone, it's Cindy from Cindy's Thrifting again. I'd like to thank you for coming by. Um, have a lot of cute things here. Hope everyone has something that they see that they love and just can't live without. Um, I'd like to thank all my subscribers for subscribing. And anyone that's new tonight, please subscribe. Uh, need some more subscribers, trying to build that up. Um, and way more videos here. I have them all scheduled for coming out starting tomorrow, so it ought to be fun. Um, I did go to Delaware yesterday and went by some of my old, uh, old places that I like to go for thrifting and had a lot of fun. Um, picked up a few things and you'll see those today. I did not uh, record it live, but was uh, happy to see that um, I still can get deals over there. As far as here in New Jersey, oh, hi guys, hi. There's two people here, who's here? Go ahead and put your uh, name in the chat and let's see who's here so far. We're gonna wait till we get a few more people, hopefully. <laughs> um, yeah, so uh, I went to Dover yesterday, had a doctor's appointment and uh, went into a Goodwill and also a Salvation Army and it was fun. I also got some clothes for myself, so it was a it was a good deal. I I really made out. Um, hi, Stacy Brinkley, how are you? Nice to see you. Um, again, this is the same kind of live sale that you see all the time now, but uh, of course I'll have some different things. The way it goes is I show you an item, I tell you uh, how much. I went for it and then uh, you put the corresponding number in it. Um, good, good. And uh, summer, it is hot today, isn't it? Woo. Also, uh, put the email or, you know, I, I'll put my email up and um, please send, if you, if you uh, buy anything, please send your information to me. My email is blueduffy at gmail.com. It's written on the screen right now. And we have three people now. Who all is here? Let's see. Sue Golombeski. Hello. Um, welcome back. I was just talking about subscribers and talking about the live sale, how you have to put the number in the chat and try to be first to win. And it all goes on my chat. Uh, not your chat, so it could be a little bit different because of um, the way our internets are. Well, I'm hoping that this works in this room because it's brighter in here than it is down in the basement, so wish me luck. <laughs> okay. Um, right now. Oh, no. <laughs> Stacy. Poor Stacy's been fighting a broken dryer and a leaking commode and she's had it. I don't blame you. I would be too. <laughs> oh my goodness. That's worse than me trying to fit everything into this house that I moved into. <laughs> I'm telling you, the more I unpack, the more I just want to get rid of because I, I uh, knew that he had a lot of stuff and he's a collector too. He collects trains and cars and trucks and, um, uh, like dump truck, all the big trucks, you know, uh, he's been a truck driver like all his life. And, um, that's just the kind of stuff he collects. Hey, Carrie Ann, how are you? I'm so happy to see you guys join me. I know I made it a different time this week, but with, uh, Bill, he doesn't go off to work until, um, like six, six 15. Cause he works nights. And so I'm making dinner and trying to get him out the door on time. And, uh, it's a little hectic around that time. So seven o'clock was hard enough to get, get the dogs out for a little walk and run back and set up things. So I'm glad you all are joining me. We can get started. I see there's five people. I only see three in the chat. Please go ahead and uh, put your name in. Let's say hi. Uh, everybody here is friends and we like to meet each other and talk to each other and support each other. There's lots of live sales on there, lots of good people that are on. Hey, Grace, 
lots of good people that are on YouTube. Please watch all of them. Um, I know you all watch D, and I'm going to start with this beautiful blue candle holder that has George Washington on it. Let me get that arrow out of there. And um, I absolutely love this. Uh, she showed George Washington and she found uh, his wife on, um, I don't know which video. It was either the video yesterday or the day before that I saw her showing them. So that was pretty cool. We found the same thing like almost on the same day. I forget who makes these. Oh, here you go. It says Avon on the bottom. So I guess that's our regular Avon. Avon. So, uh, yeah, she she also found the Martha of Washington. So that's pretty cool. She has the pair. I don't have the Martha Washington, but I do have a blue cobalt vase that I found that could look cute with this if you buy them both. Um, so let's go ahead with the... George Washington votive cup holder, I guess, candle holder, you would call it. Um, absolutely gorgeous, blue cobalt, like diamonds there and vertical lines here. And even though it's Avon, I think it's really pretty. I like it. Um, let's see. So for the first uh, number, I'm going to go for number 30. Oops, I didn't tell you the price. I'm so sorry. So this is going to be $8, $8, and it's number 30. Number 30. Hey, Bergen Pines Liz. Nice to see you, too. It was a hot one today, wasn't it, guys? Woo! It was a hot one. And I'm just writing this down. Anybody interested in him? And if you don't really like George Washington, you could always turn it around and you won't see Georgie Porgy. <laughs> right? Number $38. Number $38. I just love that blue. That is so pretty. So did you guys see my ad yesterday or today? I had put a little ad up yesterday with a lilac from my old lilac bush. And then today I put up a um, fast video outside when I was sweating to death. <laughs> okay. Bergen Pines, what did you do today? Oh, you saw both? Very cool. Very cool. So let us know what you were doing today. So the next thing I'm going to go ahead and put up because I showed you already is the cobalt blue vase that could go with that candle holder. Um, the candle holder was number 30. This one is $7, $7 only. That's cheap, cheap, very pretty. Come, I like the way it comes out and goes back in. Uh, let me see if I see a maker on this. No, with my bad eyes, I don't see anything. But she is pretty, that blue cobalt. You went to the dentist. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> That's not good. I hope everything's good. It was just for a cleaning. So this beautiful cobalt blue vase is $7. And it's number 35. Number 35. Blue cobalt vase. It's chilly and rainy in Michigan. Oh, Sue, my son's going to be uh, working in Michigan for a few weeks in July. He uh, wants me to go there with him, but I don't think I have anybody to watch the dog, so I'm not sure if I can go. And who else? So... Tell us what you've been doing all day, Sue, in that rainy day. Blue cobalt base, $7, number 35. Number 35. 
Have you been just watching uh, videos? Have you been to all kinds of live shows? <laughs> buying, buying, buying. <laughs> All right, now we have a fruit plate coming up. And I always like this because I don't know if it's a decal. I think it is. But it's very pretty the way it's done. I like the gold going around. And it was made in Japan. And it does have the plate holder on there. So you can hang it right up. Very cute. Isn't that cute? We have six people here. Please go ahead and say hello. Get in the chat. Talk to your friends. You're welcome to do so. If you're new, please go ahead and subscribe to my channel. This beautiful plate is only $5 today. $5 and it's number 20. Number 20. Yep, I thought you would be, Sue. I see you a lot at the different sales. <laughs> Good for you. I didn't have any time. I went on um, Sweet sweet Tea's Teresa Bryant, Sweet Tea's Treasures, I think it's called Sweet Tea's Treasures. And her and Lucid Curious were selling things. And they had some great stuff, but I got on there at the very end. <laughs> so mad. I was like, ah, hey, Pat, how are you? So this one is $5, number 20, $5, number 20. And a lot of people collect these. They come in florals. I'm not quite sure, Sue. Um, I'll have to ask him next time I talk to him. But um, he, he does stuff with computers, and he's networking someone. So, yeah, some company. $5 only, $5. And you could add this to um, like these kitchens, all fruits. Or if you have strawberries, you could fit it in. Apples, you could fit it in. It's still very pretty, very retro. Made in Japan. Nothing wrong with it. Comes with its own hanger. $5, number 20 for that. Okay. So, Pat, we were just talking. Um, hey, Tracy Morgan. Hey, Mary Royer. How are you? So, Pat, we've been asking each person that comes on what they've been doing um, today. Hey, Sandra. Working and lurking. <laughs> cricket, cricket. I don't know cricket. Cricket had some awesome items today, Tracy said. Good. Did you buy lots of stuff? So Pat, um, back to Pat. Every time someone comes on, I'm asking them, what did they do today? So we have some conversation going on. So what was one of the things you were doing today? I have these cute little restaurant wear items. Um, a little picture. And I did show these before, but I have a special price today. And this is Shenango um, in Newcastle, PA, USA. This is going as a set today, all three pieces. So you get the picture. And you get a little saucer bowl type thing. And they're not all the same. Um, details on there same pattern but this is shenango also made in the usa so picture and little bowl plate and then this one is got a green pattern and this is made by it looks like it says you are Gibney in new york buffalo new york 1926 1926 oh my goodness isn't that something that it's still around <laughs> i love old stuff okay so pat says she did some laundry ran a couple errands and was able to mow her lawn before the rain oh it must not have been like 100 degrees there like it is here 
Oh, this is the first sale you caught today. Oh, I'm so happy you came to mine. Thank you. And you watched Crafty Jackie do a haul. So Mary, you're next. What did you do today? What did Mary do today? It sounds like Pat was really, she was knocking it out and doing all kinds of stuff. So the three pieces of restaurant wear is going to be $9. $9, number 22. So all three pieces for $9. What a deal. Nine, I mean, $9 for three pieces. That's only $3 a piece for this wonderful restaurant where this one doesn't have a date. Let me see if this one does. It looks like it did, but I can't read it. But this one says 1926. Isn't that fascinating? 1926. Mary made enchiladas for dinner tonight, put some water on her flowers and stalked us on YouTube. <laughs> enchiladas. Were they chicken? I love chicken ones. Love chicken enchiladas. My daughter and son-in-law make them pretty good. I like hers. Okay, so this was the three-piece restaurant where $9, number 22, number 22. Let me know if you want to get that deal, $9 only for three pieces of restaurant wear. Yeah, Arizona, whew, that was the hottest place I've ever been to. <laughs> I could not believe it. I was down there. My son lives in El Paso, Texas, and we met in San Diego, California one time. Not just him, but his whole family. And um, we were in California for a while, I guess like five, six days, and then we rode back to El Paso. So. On the way back, of course, you go through Arizona. Oh, my God. <laughs> we stopped at this gas station shop place. And let me tell you, I felt like I was an egg frying in the darn frying pan. It was so hot. It was like, it was like July 3rd or something like that. July, I don't know, first week of July or something. <gasps> Oh, it was like sizzling. It was so hot. I couldn't even breathe right. <laughs> it was hot, hot. I've never been that hot. <laughs> no air. I felt like I couldn't breathe. I don't know how you do it. <laughs> of course, it's good when we're all freezing to death, right? And snow's on the ground. Um, do you ever get snow in Arizona? Hey, Deb Clark. And Tracy Morgan, what did you do today? I don't have much room here, so I'm putting some things on the floor. Let's see. I have this little uh, tea, rest, tea bag rest. It's a forget-me-not. It says Alaska State Flower, but the flowers are really pretty. The writing's real small, so forget-me-nots. Little tea plate, tea bag plate. Doesn't say, it's just a little souvenir thing from Alaska. If you like to collect things from different states or if you just like the tea bag holders. Oh, you do get snow sometimes? That's amazing. See, Deb Clark and Mary are both from Arizona, it looks like. All right, so this tea bag holder is only $4, $4, and it's number 25, 25, 25, $4, number 25. Okay, Mary.
All right. And then I was at the red, white, and blue the other day. And look who I came across. Isn't he cute? <laughs> I think he's adorable. He has a baby piggy on top of her. And I think it says, yeah. Made in Japan expressly for MB something and company, New York, New York. There you go, Tracy. It's too hot for being outside today. I planted like 12 tomato plants that should have been planted way back. And we've just been really busy. So I planted them. <laughs> it's got two slots actually for this bank. It does not have a stopper. But that's what he looks like. Isn't he adorable? But yeah, today is a day to stay in the air or be in a pool for sure. Yes, indeedy. He does have one little chip on the back of his ear right there. Like a flea bite, nothing to worry about. But everything else looks good on him. His feet are good. The little guy's good. I just love the way they look, and I love the flowers on him. He's only got one on that side. He's got a couple on this side. He's very cute. <laughs> Isn't he cute? So this little piggy is going for $8, $8, and it's number 33, number 33, $8. Can get your money back right away, laugh out loud. I don't know what that means, Deb. Explain yourself, Deb. What you talking? Isn't he cute? Oh, I get it because it's a bang and doesn't have a stopper. <laughs> yeah. Well, we could just use him as a figurine also since he's so darn cute. Stacy Brinkley, number 33. Thank you, Stacy. I appreciate that. Okay. Next up. Well, I got some glass fruit. So I might as well um, show you that. Now they're going to go uh, piece by piece because I don't know if everybody wants all of them or just some of them. So this is an apple, like a yellow apple. And I'm selling these for $7 a piece, seven a piece. And this is number 27. Number 27 for the apple. Got the leaf on there and a the stem on there. Seven dollars for the apple. And then I have, um, well actually it's vegetables and fruit. It's not just fruit. I have a grapes. Grapes. Seven dollars. Number 28. Pad Hall wants 27. This is the grapes. It has a variation of purple too, so it's not one flat color, so that's nice. And the grapes are number 28 for $7. <clears> 
<clears throat> Sorry, guys, I had a tickle in my throat. Mm. The grapes are $7, number 28. Thank you, Pat, for buying the apple. I'm going to put that in my book pile. Next up, I have a pepper, a red pepper. Red pepper. And this is $7 also. $7 for the red pepper. It's very nice. There is no maker marks on these, by the way. I'm sorry I didn't say that, but no maker's marks. But very cute. <clears throat> and this one's 29 Number 29 for this one. A red pepper. If you like veggies. Or if you have red in your kitchen or dining room. Number 29 for the red pepper. 29 for the red pepper, $7. Then I'm not sure what this is. I think it's a banana pepper. Somebody tell me what you think it is. It's long. Is that a banana pepper? That's what I'm calling it, but well, it's awfully big. <laughs> it's a big banana pepper. <laughs> and it will be number 31, number 31, and it is $7 also. Number 31. All right. Hey, DD, what you doing, girlfriend? Oh, a mango. It may be a mango. I'm not sure. That's a good call, Deb. So, D, we um we're going through the list of everybody's day and what they've been doing. So, what have you been doing today? On this hot hot day. Making another video probably, right? You've been on top of it, girlfriend. So this is $7, number 31. D, I'm going to show you the grapes just in case, because you have fruit in your kitchen. Grapes, $7, number 28. Number 28. Glass grapes. Cleaning, laundry, yard work. Now, she is a woman that gets things done. <laughs> is it hot there? Must not be too hot. She's doing all that, huh? All right. I have this cute little owl I found at the Goodwill um, by Columbus Flea Market in New Jersey. And not only is it an owl, small, on the small side, like two, two and a half inches. Oops. But he has his little home, a little cactus. See it? Perfect for the Arizona person. <laughs> Look at that. Isn't he cute? And on the bottom it says, um, Woodland Surprises, Jacqueline B. Smith, 1984. Fine porcelain, Franklin porcelain. So this is only eight dollars, eight dollars. And it's number thirty-eight. Number thirty-eight. I bet you you are tired. So he's living inside of a cactus. Any cute? Number 
How you doing? <laughs> Do you have a t-shirt yet that says that? 84 degrees today. That's not bad. That's good. It's about 100 here in New Jersey, I think. All right. Did Tracy answer us? What are, what were you doing today, Tracy? I don't think she answered us. You don't want us to know? <laughs> so who haven't I asked? Uh, Tracy and Deb, I think, are the only two that I've missed so far. <laughs> How you doing? Yeah, I like the new intro. I really do. It's a good one, D. Okay, next we have this little, um, I guess it's a jam jar, strawberry jam jar. It's got the strawberries and the green on top. It's not real bright, it's more um, muted. And then the white swirl on the bottom, it does have its spoon with it. No chips or cracks on there. I think it's done really well. And it just says Kansas City, Missouri. Kansas City, Missouri. Yeah, I'll have to get one of those t-shirts. Does it have Thrill of the Thrift on it also? I'll have to look at them. Gotta support my D, my best buddy from YouTube. So this here is only $6. $6. It's on sale just today. Number 40. Number 40. $6 only. $6. Number 40. And it does have spoon. Number 40, strawberry sugar or jam or whatever you want to put in there. You could even put brown sugar in there if you like cinnamon and sugar. Um, yeah, could be anything really. $6, number 40. All right. Uh, Deb Clark, what did you do today? Here's a good question, and anybody can answer. If you didn't have to worry about money or job or anything, where would you pick to go as a vacation this summer? Put the answer below. Where would you pick to go? Oh, that's right, Tracy. Tracy was trying to work in her yard. That's right. It is too hot. Where would you pick to go? I think I'd go to... Hawaii or California. San Diego is beautiful. Have you ever been? Next, we have this cute little tin. Excuse me, I'm reaching over you. Cute little tin with the green and cream. It's a lady. Looks like she's walking home or leaving. Maybe she's leaving. <laughs> she's, looks like she's waving bye. Bye. See you later. <laughs> right, D. Hawaii Kiki. Woo. -hoo. 
Let's go, D. Are you ready? <laughs> oh boy, that would be cool. Oh, Deb got a lot done too. Wendy says Hawaii for her too. So this cute little tin is only $5, $5. And it's number 42, number 42. I'm buying. <laughs> well, why not? You live in San Diego, Sandra? She wants to go to Italy. That's a cool place. Italy, France, Greece. Anybody been there? Any of those? $5 for this tin. Little worn. Five dollars. Number forty-two. Number forty-two. All right, guys. Let me see what else I got. I have a green glass basket. Oh my! Isn't that adorable? Yeah, it is a lot of time on the plane. Pretty green, emerald green. You can use green almost like um like a neutral color because all flowers have some green on them, right? And we could use it around Christmas. We can use it for the spring. We can use it for the summer. Can you imagine that with some um, daisies, some daisies in there? Or never been outside of the United States. Me neither. Oh, no. I went to Mexico once. Um, so green is more of a neutral, I think. You can kind of fit it in in any room because green goes with everything. And uh, this one's going for $9, $9 only. That's cheap, cheap, $9, number 45, 45. Oh, Sandra, good for you. And D wants number 45. Thank you, D, for $9. Thank you so much. I uh, also have a green vase. This one does have Hoosier glass on it. 4061. It's kind of like a swirl, a swirl. See it? Just for like one or two or three flowers. A small little green vase. And this one is only $7. $7. Number 48. Number 48. See the swirls? Oh, you're welcome. I got something else for you the other day. I thought you could set that on wherever you have all that white milk glass, the older white milk glass you bought from me, the bottle and stuff. I don't know. I thought it would look kind of cute together. So this is only $7 and it's number 48. 48. It's a cute little vase that when your grandkids or your if you have young kids gives you those dandelions and you don't know what to do with them. Boop. Here's a little vase for you. <laughs> $7 number 48. Okay. Now I did have a hummingbird bell and was it Sandra? Was it you that bought it? And I broke it as I was packaging it. So I sent you an email and told you I, I broke it. 
Well, I did find something else that's hummingbird. It's a music box, but you can just have it as a figurine too. It's two little hummingbirds over top of a flower. Kind of looks like a petunia or I don't know. What kind of flower is that? And it has a bud on that side. And I don't know what it plays. It was made by Lefton. And I still got the darn sticker on here. Made by Lefton. Oh, well, there you go. It plays Waltz of Flowers. And this isn't that old, actually. It says 1997. 1997. But there's the Lefton sticker, if you can kind of see it. Honeysuckle, you think? Could be. Could be. There's the Lefton sticker. So I know uh, we have some Lefton collectors. And this, with their long beaks and wings, it's amazing that it's still doing well. No nicks or cracks. Okay, so this little uh, figurine music box, whatever you want to call it, is number, oh, I'm sorry, is $11, number 50. $11, number 50. $11, number 50. Hey, Crafty Jackie, welcome, welcome. Nice to see you. And what have you been doing today, lady, on this hot, hot day? $11, number 50 for the hummingbirds. And it is a music box. Oh, D, I was talking about you earlier before you got on. Look what I found. I think on the same day as you. <laughs> Don't you want another George? <laughs> and I didn't know that Avon made this, but it they did. It's an Avon stamp on there. Can you see it? Isn't that cool? <laughs> I saw your video. <laughs> I said, oh, but she has Martha too. <laughs> yep. Oh, it was rainy today there. Oh. Let's see, we have something retro and pink coming up. This little, um, I don't know, I guess you put mints or cashews or peanuts or chocolates. This is a baby pink. It's not white, it is baby pink. It doesn't have a maker's mark, it just says California USA is the um, imprint there. But it has the little handle and it has four sections. You did too, Crafty. <laughs> and it is baby pink. Pink is the cool color, says Jeffrey at Real Nifty Vintage. Or if you want to use this in the bathroom, or if you want to use this in your bedroom if you have some pink in there so this little uh sectional candy nut dish from uh california usa 
is only ten dollars ten dollars and it's number 51 number 51 for the pink sectional dish ten dollars number 51 uh-oh grace says avon is the bomb oh thank you crafty jackie i appreciate that so much Okay, now I got this sugar and creamer, and I think I've shown this before too. It's very retro looking, and it is gray. This is the sugar. Has a lid, no cracks or anything. Nice and clean on the inside. It is trimmed out in 22 karat platinum. Uh, it says, made in the USA, the Marker Pottery Company. So that's the sugar bowl. And the, the very top is the uh, platinum also. And I think that is cool, cool. Yvonne, hello. How are you? Welcome, welcome. If anybody is a new subscriber, please subscribe now. Don't forget, I need subscribers very much, and I surely do appreciate it. And here's the creamer. This is so cool. Just the way it's designed. Look at that. Even if you just put it up on a shelf and don't use it, it just has a cool look. Very cool look to it. And again, the 22 karat platinum. And again, made in the USA. And this little set, as pretty as it is, it is gray, gray with white and platinum. And this little set is only going for $9, $9, number 55. Nine dollars, number fifty-five. Isn't that cute? And it's it's showing white, but it really is gray. See the gray? It's gray. Like the sugar bowl has a white lid with a gray bottom, and the creamer has a gray outside but a white inside. Number 55, $9 only. So Yvonne, we've been asking everyone what their day consisted of. What did they do? Can you tell us what you've been doing all day? Just to keep the conversation going on. And Grace, you haven't uh, put in what you've been doing all day either. And Wendy, did you put in what you were doing today? We had that question as each person came in. <laughs> all right. What do we have now? We have... These old salt and pepper shakers, and I've never shown them before because they have a boo-boo. So they are Mr. Peanut for Planner's Peanuts. Remember him? They're plastic. They look like they're uh, metal silver, but they're not. They're plastic silver. They're cute as can be. But this one has lost part of its stand and it looks like somebody tried to glue it and then it got lost see that the little disc but he still stands up he stands up fine this one has the whole disc 
Mr. Peanut Salt and Peppers. I think it's adorable. I guess, yeah, it's the hat that comes off to uh, replace the salt and pepper. It says something. I'm trying to read it. Oh, it just says Mr. Peanut, yeah. Mr. Peanut, salt and pepper. We're going to just let this go for $5, $5, number 58. Number 58. Oh, you went to Target. $5 for Mr. Peanut. Oh, my goodness, Crafty Jackie. You got a lot done. Made a pizza. You make that by scratch or what? Mr. Peanut, $5, number 58. Wendy cleaned the mess a cat made, took hubby to get shots at VA, took daughter to get second COVID, then watched hubby do his exercises when therapist came to house. Good for you, Wendy. <laughs> you guys have really gotten a lot done. All I got done was I planted tomatoes and wash dishes and a made a breakfast <laughs> and got ready for the sale. <laughs> I got to speed myself up. <laughs> and Yvonne went to Target. All right. Next up. Oh, it's almost eight o'clock already. Goodness gracious. I do not have a fairy light. But I have the bottom of a fairy light. Fairy light. So, was wondering if anybody wanted this bottom of a fairy light. For the low, low cost of $6. Is that crazy? Or what? $6. $6 for number 59. $6 for number 59. Thrill of the Thrift, number 59. Gotcha, D. Thank you. All right. Then I have this beautiful cut glass bowl in the amber. And I think I showed this before, too. I think this, this cut glass is more pretty than the blown glass really um i don't know what you guys think but it's like sparkles so much more that's why i like some of the clear glass because it gets all those cuts in and it sparkles so this looks like a candy dish to me but if you guys know better you let me know so this is uh going to be Nine dollars, nine dollars for the amber candy dish. And it's number 62. You watch a giraffe give birth? <laughs> number 62, nine dollars for this beautiful cut glass candy dish. And the amber will be coming up to fall here shortly. It won't be long. Number 62 for $9. Look at that sparkle when the light hits it. Isn't that beautiful? I think it's beautiful. Okay. So what else do I have here? Oh, I have another little owl that I didn't show you. This is actually like a mama and a baby owl. It's small. It's not very big. About four inches tall for the tall owl and about three and a half or four inches wide. Looks like the white owls 
Isn't it pretty? <laughs> the baby looks like, don't look at me. <laughs> don't look at me. Don't look at me. <laughs> and this cute little mama and baby is only $7, number 64. Seven dollars, number sixty-four. <laughs> I love that baby one. <laughs> He's adorable. Don't look at me. I said, don't look at me. <laughs> Dee's got it. <laughs> Thank you, Dee. <laughs> okay, what's next, guys? What's next? So, um, my boyfriend's aunt gave him this. So warning, warning, this is a clown coming up. But um, it's from 1984. And it is one of those Emmett clowns. I even have the box for it. Like I don't think she even ever took it out of the box. And it says dining out. Dining out. And he's got his beans out. Eating his beans. And it's the Emmett Kelly clown. It's gorgeous. I'm sure she paid a mint for it. Just wanted to show you all the detail in the back. And all around, his coat showing to be torn. And his face. He's so sad, isn't he? <laughs> so we were trying to get like 25 out of him because I think she paid like 50 for it. It's a signature collection from, um, what's the company called? Uh, Flam, Flambro, I can't read it, it's real little, here you go, it's a limited edition, 2,895 <laughs> out of 120,000, the Emmett Kelly Jr. Collection, there, I'll show it to you. So there are 120,000 of these floating around. It's not that limited. But it's cute. It has its own. Uh... Hey, Teresa. Hello, darling. I was talking about your channel to everyone. Told them I caught the very end of it today. I'm going to try to get on there earlier tomorrow. You do it every day, right? You missed a lot of it, Gina, but I'll show you the stuff that didn't sell, okay? So this clown is 25, 25, brand new, in the box, Emmett Jr., limited edition, so it says, <laughs> number 70, number 70 for 25. Yes. Yes, that's Teresa Bryant. Yep, she has Sweet Tea's Treasure by Teresa B. And she's on there a lot with Luce, uh, Lucid Curious. It's hard for me to say that. <laughs> Anybody want this little clown? Got the box and everything. $25, number 70. If not, I'm going to put them on eBay. I gotta be taking some pictures. He's got a little dog there. You see the dog? Little dog. Okay, let me show you the items that I haven't sold yet, which are quite a few. 
I have this hummingbird music box and it was $11 number 50 Eleven dollars, number fifty. And Teresa, don't forget, I owe you a um, credit. Remember? So these hummingbirds are eleven dollars, number fifty, and it is a music box, also. Nothing wrong with it. And it's number 50. Now I have this blue cobalt vase for $7, only $7 for this blue cobalt vase. And it's number 35, number 35. Number 35. And this beautiful Georgie Porgy candle holder <laughs> is $8, number 30, $8, number 30. <laughs> and let's see, these beautiful grapes for $7, they're glass, whoops. They're glass. They're pretty big, $7. $7 for the grapes. And the grapes are number 28. Number 28. Oh, I forgot about this. This little pottery, I think this is for a, um, incense stick I think or you can just collect little pieces of pottery and this little pottery pot I'll call it for the incense has beautiful colors in it blue pink I know the light kind of makes it you can't really see all the detail but it's really cute really neat And it is six dollars, number seventy-two. You want number twenty-eight? Okay, gotcha. Gotcha, Teresa. And Gina wants number seventy-two. Gina Marie. Gotcha. Thank you, girls. Appreciate that. And let's see. Oh, I didn't show this yet. Where's she at? So I have this little girl figurine. She looks like a nursery rhyme girl or something. And no mark on the bottom. And we'll put number 74 on her and she is only seven dollars seven dollars number 74 seven dollars number 74 she has like it looks like some kind of plum or something she's holding i don't know some kind of fruit in there with a little goose duck what is that Right, Gina? I know. So, little girl figurine, $7, number 74. Um, let me see. Oh, I have a little puffy duck planter. He's like a pale yellow, again with the light, with some flowers on it. This was a homemade piece, I guess. A May piece, and he's got a place for a planter. He does have a little, well, yeah, it's a little nick right there. 
And he's only six dollars, six dollars for the puffy duck. And he's number 78. Number 78 for the puffy duck. And then I also have a red pepper that's glass. That's $7. $7. And it's number 29. And it's glass. Number 29. $7. Number 29. You want number 29 too, Teresa? Okay. Gotcha, sweetie. And then we have, someone said this might be a mango. I don't know. Mango, I was saying banana pepper, but it's kind of big for a banana pepper. <laughs> but this one was number 31, $7. Number 31, $7. And then we have Mr. Peanut, the salt and pepper shakers. Oh, I got them backwards. Mr. Peanut. This one is broke, but he still stands. And Mr. Peanut, salt and peppers are. Oh, you want number 31 too? Okay. Mr. Peanuts, only $5, number 58. $5.58. Gotcha, Teresa. Thank you. $5, number 58 for the Mr. Peanuts. Let's see. What else did I have? Oh, this owl and the cactus. Owl and the cactus. He actually comes out. Come here, you, Mr. Owl. There he is. That's his house. There he is. It says Woodland Surprises, Owl, 1984. Uh, 1984. I think that's cute. Isn't that cute? <laughs> Inside the cactus. And he was, where did I put him? He was $8, number 38. $8, number 38. And I had a little tea, tea bag dish with forget-me-nots on it. And this little tea bag dish was somewhere on here. Four dollars, number twenty-five. Four dollars, number twenty-five. Pretty flowers. All right. Oh, I have a tin. A tin for five dollars. This green and cream tin for five dollars, and the tin was number forty-two. Number forty-two has a lady with a house. Five dollars, number forty-two, and I had this sweet little sugar and creamer with the platinum retro type looking to me I don't know gray with white and platinum trim 22 karat platinum trim and I 
had a sale on that too. Where is it at? Boop, 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 boop. Oops. Thank you, Teresa. Oh, Sandra, number 42. Number 42 was the tin, Sandra. Rosa. And if I never sold you before, make sure you guys send me um, to my email that's on the screen your information. This creamer and sugar is, I lost it, guys. Here it is, $9 only. $9. It's on sale just for you. $9, gray and white, platinum, 22 karat platinum. And it's number 53, I'm sorry, 55. $55, $9 for the set, for the set. And thank you, Sandra, for taking that tin. And the restaurant wear was also on sale. Excuse me, I put some stuff on the floor because I ran out of room. So you get the little creamer and you get the little dish and you get the plate. It's three pieces for $9. I do remember that. Three pieces for $9. And that was number, where'd it go? Number 22. Number 22, you get the pitcher, the little bowl, and the plate. And the plate is outlined in green, but it's from 1920. 1926 is on the back has a date so that's really cool drill the thrift you got it thank you thank you d all right guys i guess that's gonna do it for tonight i know i'm going over time because it's um uh, mercantile mercantile Trusty Huckster Mercantile, um, it's his turn at 8 o'clock. It's 8.12, so I'm going to let you go. I appreciate you all coming out to see me. Um, okay, I'll see you later, Wendy. Thank you so much. Um, so if you're not subscribed, please subscribe. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. And uh, I'll see you next week. And I'll start letting my videos roll out tomorrow. So I'll see you later. Bye, guys. No problem, Teresa. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. Bye. Thanks for coming by, guys. Thanks, Yvonne. Bye, D. Talk to you soon. Yes, twin, Teresa. I'll see you later. <laughs> You're so cool. Bye, Sandra. Bye, Crafty Jackie. Bye, Wendy. Bye, Gina. Bye, Sue. Bye, Wendy. Bye, Carrie. Bye, Yvonne. Thanks for subscribing. Bye, Grace. Bye, Jackie. I think that's about it. Bye, Mary. Bye, Tracy. Bye, Pat. See y'all later. Bye.